locations in McLennan County. That's right. As Fox 44's Elizabeth Zena tells us, the usual spike in sales isn't happening this year at Stars and Stripes Fireworks. Instead of having an explosive business, they'll have less of a financial boom. With the 4th of July coming up and fireworks stands open, sales are usually good. But this year, Dan from Stars and Stripes says... The season started off kind of a little bit slow, um, and that's to be expected anytime. Uh, the 4th of July lands uh, in the middle of the week. Dan Fitzgerald, a veteran and owner and operator of Stars and Stripes Fireworks. He has a passion for fireworks and for putting on shows. But with the 4th of July being on a weekday, this is affecting his livelihood. Some people are going to decide not to shoot fireworks because, you know, they may have to go to work the following day. This isn't Fitzgerald's first rodeo with dipping in sales he's faced an all-out ban on fireworks in 2011. We weren't allowed to even open our doors. In order to meet sale requirements, Fitzgerald's way to solve this is a way that makes customers happy. Uh, we always try to drive our prices as a little bit low, as low as we can during uh, those types of uh, uh, holidays to help bolster uh, the, the sales as much as we can. While only being open twice a year, Fitzgerald says the 4th of July is his biggest sale of the year. We sell quite a bit more, you know, an order of magnitudes of, you know, two to three times more during 4th of July versus New Year. So this is when we need to make our money. So show your support and remember to stay safe this holiday. In Waco, Elizabeth Zena, Fox 44 News.